Mike Moore Media. Good things happening in Reedsville. Let's check in with city marketer Judy Yarborough and see about uh, some events coming up. Hey, Judy. Hey, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing just great. Oh, don't you just love this time of the year and all the festivals and stuff going on? I do. It's fall time. I'm ready for fall. Yeah, yeah. And you had a, a wonderful uh, weekend at the penthouse uh, last weekend, too. We did. Art in the afternoon. Our local artists set up, and it was an absolutely wonderful event. They had a great crowd. They sold a lot of art Saturday and Sunday, so it, it worked out really well. And, you know, they do that yearly, the third Saturday in um September every year, so it's a great event. Good. Okay. All righty. I've got my pencil ready to take notes. Some things coming up in Reedsville. Okay. We've got um, a concert this weekend. We are following the weather for Saturday night, mm-hmm. um, but it does look like, based on what we're seeing on AccuWeather, that we may be okay between 7 and 9. So mm-hmm. yeah. we're still planning on moving forward. We will make announcements if we do decide to reschedule that, but and it would be rescheduled for next year. But it's Gump Fiction. It's a 90s band. They're a great band. We had some people post, I don't even recognize this music. And I'm like, come on, give me a break. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, you may be getting too old if you don't recognize it. That's, but um, that's it. There was yeah. some, there's some great music there. It's going to be a really good band. They played here several years ago. They're a great band. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's at Market Square. And what time does that start? 7? Starts at 7 p.m. on mm-hmm. Saturday night. Of course, the chamber will be out there with the beer garden and the wine garden. And then um, we've got food vendors set up out there, food trucks, as well as games for the kids. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, wonderful. All right. And, uh, and what's next? So the next thing, of course, is going to be the festival, mm-hmm. um, which will be October the 21st, the Fab Festival. And that is Food, Art, and Brew. That's what that stands for. We've got four breweries that are set up to be there, um, a couple of them from Greensboro. We've got... Um, Lucky City is going to be there. Uh, Reynolds is going to be there. Um, and then we've also got uh, Pig Pounder is going to be there, and there's one other. I'll, I'll come to me in a second. And then, um, of course, the Chamber will be there uh, with the beer garden set up as well. And we have artisans set up. We have gotten a huge amount of artisans. We're so excited about it. And, you know, one of the, we changed our festival a little um, and made it so that it's only um, artisans that can set up, people that make what they sell. Mm-hmm. So um, it's really turned into a very nice event. We have a lot of vendors that are coming in that day. They're going to be all up and down Scale Street. Gilmer Street is going to be the kids' zone. And then the food trucks will be set up down by Market Square. Um, and the merchants are setting up on the street as well. So it's going to be a great day. We're excited about that. That's October the 21st, and it starts at um, 11 a.m. and goes until 7 p.m. Now, of course, the headlining band that night is the TAM. Oh, so yeah. yeah. That's going to be a great concert. That starts at 5 um, and goes to 7. You do need to remember to bring your chair. Mm-hmm. Okay. So October 21st for that festival, and it sounds great, Judy. Yeah, it is. It's going to be a great festival. We're very excited about it. We've gotten a really great response from the artisans all around the uh, region so we're really excited about it yeah and we have so many talented uh, artisans too so it's good to showcase them there at uh, at fab okay it is it is and you know we really do have i mean just like this weekend from the art um, show that we do here at the house it's amazing the artists that we have in this area mm-hmm. it's, it's incredible we really have some very talented people yeah we certainly do okay uh going right down the calendar what's next Okay, so also that day, during the Fab Festival, um, the Governor Reed House will be open. So if you've not made it over there to tour the Governor Reed House, it will be open um, on Fab Festival Day from 2 until 5. So you can tour over there as well. Then on um, October the 27th is our annual downtown trick-or-treat. This is turned into a huge event. Um, We love it. All the kids, it's an early release day. All the kids go home, get dressed up. They come downtown. Our merchants set up. The city sets up. We have people that, businesses in the community that come and set up and give out candy. And it runs from 4 until 6, and that's going to be a lot of fun. (laughs) Okay, so that's October 27th for Downtown Trick or Treat. Downtown Trick or Treat. Also that night at 6.30 at Market Square, they will be showing Hotel Transylvania for the kids. Oh, okay. So, um, so be sure and bring your blanket or chair for that, and um, that, of course, is a free event as well. Mm-hmm. All right, very good. Okay, okay. so that, got, that gets us through October. 
Well, not quite. Oh, On October okay. 28th, <laughs> okay. we've got uh, the open house at Lake Reedsville. So, you know, Lake Reedsville is such a gem. People, you know, people I tell me all the time they don't realize what's out there. It is a beautiful facility mm-hmm. out there. Yeah. Um, you can, you know, rent paddle boats. You can rent kayaks out there. Um, it's a, you know, of course you can uh, ski out there. It's, you know, it's a fish. That's the big thing. Um, there's a disc golf course out there. It's a great facility in camping. So we're doing an open house out there on Saturday, October the 28th from noon until 3. And then that night um, they will be doing a haunted trail out there for Halloween from 6 until 8.30. Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay. Yeah, it will be. Okay. All right. I'm taking notes then. So that's Lake Reedsville on the 28th, 12 to 3, haunted trail that night. Got it. Right. Then um, Veterans Day, um, we're having a Veterans Day ceremony on November the 11th. Um, That is going to be um, at, we think, J.C. Park. You know, we we are, they're still, I think they're trying to get that all worked out exactly where in J.C. Park it will be. It's at the memorial for the veterans is right there at, um, no, I'm sorry, they've moved it to Market Square is what they've done. Mm -hmm. Uh, They've moved it to Market Square because the splash pad is going in down there. At, by the Veterans Memorial. So there, it's all roped off and you can't get in there. Mm-hmm. So they have moved it to Market Square. It'll be at 11 a.m. that morning, and they're doing a very nice ceremony honoring our veterans that day. Oh, that's nice. So that's November 11th at 11. November the 11th at 11. Okay. And then, of course, we've got the Christmas Parade. Uh-huh. And that's going to be coming up on November the 19th, and it starts at 4 p.m. And we are highly encouraging people. This is our 150th anniversary. We've worked with Charles and WGSR, um, the TV station who puts the, the parade together, for us to do some old-timey floats. We're looking at doing classic cars and that. We're bringing out the old, the original fire truck. Mm. So we want people to really get into the spirit of it. So, you know, come dressed in your costumes or whatever. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. Christmas Parade, November 19th. And you mentioned uh, this uh, wonderful year. You've been celebrating the sesquicentennial all year long. And haven't you had a lot of fun? We have had a lot of fun. It truly has been. You know, our magazine has come out. You can get those at um, City Hall. We've also got them out at our events. And that magazine, people have just loved that magazine. It's about 130-some pages, and it's full of the history of Breedsville. I've got mine right here on my desk. I stopped by City Hall and picked that up recently. And uh, this is really a, a collectible item for sure that we, we all need to get a copy of. Absolutely it is, and that's what we wanted it to be. You know, when um, I feel sure that there are some mistakes in that, we have talked about that many times, because 150 years ago, nobody thought anybody would be writing a magazine. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's, I'm sure there's some things in there that other people would say, I don't think it happened that way, but, you know, we did the best we could with what we had. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. And then some people may not know because nobody maybe was around to document it anyway, so you've got the best you can. Okay. All right. Okay, Judy, I think we just lost Judy there. Oh, my, I think we just lost her on the line. Uh, I tell you what, uh, I want to make sure that we included everything. So I'm going to give her a call back. This is this is kind of uh, unusual here, but we'll give Judy a, a real quick call back. Uh, I'm talking to Judy Yarborough uh, with the city of Reedsville, and uh, this is a live podcast here. So uh, we'll just kind of see if we can reconnect here. <laughs> Judy? Okay. I don't know where you went. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just I just recalled you. I just redialed. So I said I'm not. We're not going to lose Judy that easily. Yeah. It just went away. <laughs> so it's kind of unusual okay. there at the at that point. But yeah, I didn't want to leave out anything though. Okay. Yeah. No. So yeah. So um, the other other thing, you know, we've got the uh, 25th of November will be the Small Business Saturday, mm-hmm. which we certainly encourage everybody to get out and support your small businesses. I mean, they are the backbone of our community. That's exactly right. Uh, small business makes it happen, doesn't it? It does. Absolutely, it does. Um, rolling into December, we've got the Christmas tree lighting on December the 1st, and that's going to be a really big deal. We're getting ready next week to decorate downtown for fall, so we're excited about that. We're doing some really cool stuff for decorating for the fall season. And then, of course, after fall, we'll roll into the decorations for Christmas and I can't go into detail of it, but it is going to be a very cool photo scenes down there this year. Oh, wonderful. 
you know, th- those photo uh, ops that you set up for us uh, seasonally speaking through the year, those are just uh, just great, how, do you, how you put that together. It is. It's a very much a very team um, effort. Um, you know, somebody from just about every department in the city comes in and represents, and, you know, everybody works together to make it happen, and it's a lot of work, but it sure is worth it when it's all said and done. Mm-hmm. It certainly uh, certainly uh, captures a lot of memories for us for, for generations to come, that's for sure. They have a lot of fun with that. Okay. They do have a lot of fun with it. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we've got the um, historic walking tours again, the lantern tours that's going to take place on Saturday, December the 2nd. Tickets are getting ready to um, go on. I should not say sale. It is free. You don't have to pay for the tickets, but you do have to register to get tickets. Mm -hmm. Um, We're getting ready to to send that out there. That is a wonderful tour. It's a lantern tour. It's done in evening. They walk through downtown. They're dressed in costume. They talk about the history of Reedsville. It's a lot of fun. And that thing sells out every year. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's December second for the Lantern right. Tours. Okay, right. Uh, another and unique both... ad- adventure there, really. Absolutely, it is. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then finally, on December second, we've also got the holiday market, the annual holiday market at the penthouse. So um, we are very excited to say that our venue, our new uh, building, should be open. So mm-hmm. we're going to have vendors in there, vendors in the main house, the greenhouse, so it's going to be a very big event. We're very excited about that, and that's going to be from 9 to 2 on Saturday, December the 2nd. Judy, I have filled up a, a sheet of paper here. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, it's really, I wish you could see this. Uh, it's just, well, you know, you just told us there's so much going yeah. on in Reedsville. It's wonderful. Thank you for sharing all of this with us. Absolutely. Thank you, Mike. Thank you and Team Reedsville for um, hard work putting together for us to enjoy, too. And always good to talk to you, Judy. We'll talk again next month. You, too. Thank you, Mike. Bye. Bye-bye. That's Reedsville City Marketer Judy Yarbrough. I hope you were maybe taking notes with me. If you missed some of this along the way, you can listen to this podcast and have your uh, uh, pencil and paper ready because you don't want to miss any of these wonderful events in Reedsville. And if you need more information, you can get it at riseupreedsville.com. You can also go to the city's website, and that's reedsvillenc.gov. Please support our Reedsville businesses. And uh, I want to do, again, mention the date, November 25th, Small Business Saturday. I want to put that on the calendar as well. We appreciate your support, and thank you for coming out and enjoying all of our events in Reedsville.